So this training is to support you in using QR codes in education. So first of all, the common uses, learning tasks. For example, websites, instead of having to program, say, 20 iPads in the class, that's probably a bit extreme, um, all to go onto the same website, you can simply put up a QR code and the children scan to get there. Really, really simple, saves a lot of prep time. An About Us sort of video link, um, say for your, your class, maybe you want to introduce the class to anyone that comes to visit, um, you want to have a wee sort of tour of the classroom for new children, simple, record a video, and as you'll see later, you can create a link so that anyone coming to your class can scan the QR code on your door and see everything that you want to show them. You can use it to share multimedia information. Of course, when you go into a school, you walk around, you look at all of the brilliant displays, but you never really get that sort of pupil voice. You don't really get to hear the talking and listening unless there's the big talk buttons up that people can press. Well, we've got the technology um, that anyone can actually see any child's work, be it a presentation, be it a play, be it just them reading a story or explaining a piece of work um, that they've made. Maybe they've done an amazing piece of writing. It's up on the star writer's wall and there's a wee QR code at the bottom, which is the pupil talking about their writing. Really, really powerful way to link the learning. Online profiles such as Seesaw, and that's what I'm going to be talking a bit about. Um, so that children, instead of having to always sign into their own account using their own QR code, which they might lose, and then a teacher has to look up all of their information, often there is a class QR code that they just scan and they click on their name and in they go. Surveys and forms, you can use it for exit tickets, things like that, um, and also for feedback surveys. Um, and then finally, non-public multimedia, and I'll get into that in the last slide or the second to last slide. So Seesaw, the teacher experience, finding and using the class QR code and the student experience login from the class QR code. So I'm going to show you both of them in the next two week clips. And um, the first one on the iPad is the teacher experience, what it looks like from the teacher point of view. And the second one that I shoot from my mobile phone is what it would look like for a student logging in on a tablet or a device and um, scanning the QR code. So here on Seesaw, I have a demo class. You'll see I've got a sample student, Harry Potter and Ronald Weasley, down the right-hand side. There are two ways I can get a class QR code. Obviously, you'll have sent home individual QR codes if you set up Seesaw. And to be honest, any learning platform like this normally has a similar feature, but I do love Seesaw. So if I want to get a class QR code, there's a quick way to do it, and there's a long printed out way. The quick way I would use the smart board for I would press on add students down in the bottom. Sometimes if you don't, if you can't see it, maybe you're using a phone and you've linked that, you'll need to click on the little tool icon in the right hand corner and you'll see you get add students there. But I'm gonna click on add students and here you'll see a QR code. Now these QR codes last for an hour, which is why I don't mind showing this. So you scan that QR code, it'll let you sign in as one of the students and I'll show you what that looks like in a second from a student point of view. The second version is a slightly longer version in that you can print out a class QR code that you can then put up in your classroom for students to scan at any point point. and to do that again go to your add students or in the spanner uh, tool icon in the top right hand corner whichever way and click on print. Now I will blur out our QR code because I don't really fancy loads of you signing in onto my sample page and I'm sure spamming me with funny comments. So you swipe across, you'll see the QR code, that gets printed out, gets stuck up on your display and hey presto, sorted. So now on my phone, this time I'm gonna scan the QR code that I've got on my iPad, it will be on your smart board, wherever. I'll click on I'm a student and I'll just let it scan. So it's scanning that and I get to choose, do I want to be, am I signing in as Harry Potter? Or am I signing in as Ron Weasley? Now, yes, children could technically click on the wrong name. They could sign in as someone else and post something as someone else. However, before it becomes public 
on Seesaw or before it goes to that person's profile, the teacher has to approve it anyway. So it kind of takes away that people being mean. And if someone um, accidentally signs into the wrong one, it's no biggie. Let's say I'm actually Harry Potter, but I click on Ron Weasley. It gives you a wee sort of check that that really is you. So you have to confirm deny. Um, I'll confirm that. I'm not going to notify. This is me. It's temporary. I'm on a temporary um, a temporary iPad just now. I'll sign out at the end. Um, but if I've made a mistake, I simply click on my icon, the wee tiger, and I just go to sign out. It will only take you to the class that you're signing in as. So it, even if the student's a member of multiple classes, it won't let them access any of their other classes, only the one that you're actually wanting them to sign into. Next, we've got creating a QR code. Now this is actually really easy and yet it freaks a lot of people out. There's a couple of wee steps to go through, um, but there are, as I say, lots of free QR code generators. I personally like using QR code monkey, um, this website here, as I've said, but it is my personal preference. I just find it very, very simple to use. And all you have to do to generate your own QR code is you go to the website that you want to link to. So I'm gonna to go to this Top Max website here. I'm gonna click up on the web URL. I'll press copy. And I just tap that there once it was highlighted to get copy. Go back to QR Code Monkey. Tap down in the URL box here. Delete the QR Code Monkey one that's there. And add in by tapping on it, press paste the one that I've got. Now I'm gonna press enter on the keyboard and you'll notice that the QR code on the right hand side just changed. Now I can change this to a higher quality. It really doesn't matter about the quality though. You can leave it as it is. You want to move it somewhere so that you get the create QR code um, if, if you're changing it. You can also set colors if you really want to play around with it. Genuinely, all you need to do though, after you've put in the URL is press download PNG. Ignore this pop-up. Please do not click on um, free sign up or anything. That's the way that QR Code Monkey makes its money, is by doing ads, so just ignore the ads. And now you'll see I've got this image and this is the QR code. Now what I'm gonna do, iPads can, or certainly the school iPads can be a bit funny sometimes. Obviously if you're on a computer, it's easy. You can just right click on it and press download. Normally on the iPad, you would be able to press the open in, but it doesn't on school iPads, or certainly the one I'm using, it just says it can't be downloaded at this time. Not very helpful. Don't panic though. All you have to do, turn your iPad into portrait. If it's not already, just simply screenshot it. It's going to screenshot now. There we are. Here's my QR code. I can now just put that, save it into my photos um, by pressing done. Save to photos. Thing is, if I do too many QR codes at once, I won't know which one's for what. So I want to put that straight into a Word document, maybe with a nice title um, saying what it is. Let's just quickly open up pages. Let's create a document blank. And I'll just call this top mark. So I know what it is and then I'll make it nicer for my display later. Add photo or video and I've just cut out there the, the individual photos because some of them were school related ones but there's the QR code that's it on and I can play around with that make a nice wee display put it up on my maths wall done children can scan that to get to the game that I said but it doesn't just have to be game websites you could actually take children to videos so i'm going to press back you can take them to anything absolutely any website i'm just going to go back again right so you'll see here i've got this lovely cop 26 video and um, i want the children to be researching so i'm just going to click on that select all copy and same again in qr code monkey highlight the whole thing and paste and there we are. Again, same process. Download PNG. Oops, I just closed the ad. That was stupid. Don't close the ad until after it's downloaded. Just let it run its wee course. 
and then again I'm just going to turn that into portrait screenshot and I can insert and that is how you create a QR code from any link on the internet anything that has a URL up there whatever you see on the page is what will be taken to when it's scanned so the children can pick up their school iPad so long as the content isn't blocked on a school iPad or whatever device they're using in school they can scan your QR code and go straight to the website. Now, why is that important? See, with things like top marks, infant teachers use them all the time and they're spending so long typing in individual websites to all of these different iPads when actually all we have to do is train the children just to scan a QR code. And with the world as it is in the COVID pandemic just now, people are scanning all the time. You're scanning your COVID check-in in pretty much everywhere you go. People know now that it's just the camera app. You open it up. You don't have to take a photo. In fact, you don't take a photo. Hold the camera app up to the QR code and it will automatically show you the link. QR codes in Google Chrome. It's actually, see if you're using Google Chrome on an iPad or any device, it's so easy to get a QR code there. They're there. They, they are there. You just need to know where to look. So this little video clip should really help you. So I really love the browser Google Chrome. Obviously on the iPad, there are other browsers. You've got Safari, um, for example, but Google Chrome is my default and I've got it there on my left-hand side. So back to top marks. First thing you want to do before actually generating a QR code is just have a wee look down the page because quite often, as you'll see there, websites now have a QR code automatic top, top marks, I believe on all of their games. I might be wrong, but, um, they've got a QR code there. You literally just have to hold your finger on it and save image. And that's the QR code right there. I mean, they've done it for you. Not all websites have that though. So important that you know how else you can do it, such as the last slide. But in Google Chrome, you'll see the typical iPad share icon there or on a computer, different forms of share. Just look for the option to share. I'm going to click on the share icon and you'll see the fourth one down says create a QR code. If I just tap on that, automatically gives me a QR code and I can click on share there to save the image, um, to print it straight. I can share it straight to any of the, any of my different apps. I mean, that's it. That's all I have to do if I'm on Google Chrome for almost everything. Let's have a look at the BBC page. Same again. I'll click that share icon. Fourth one down, create a QR code. There it is, share, save the image, done. Don't even need to use the QR code generators. And a lot of browsers do have that functionality. I just find the Google one really, really seamless. So feedback, as I said at the start, you can create pupil or parent surveys, exit ticket comments, a worry box, or leave me a message that sort of Instead of having post-it notes that anyone can see if they're left on your desk for too long, you could have a wee QR code that if someone wants to drop you a message, they just scan it and it takes them to the feedback thing that you've made. You just need to remember to check that. Um, but a really, really nice way of letting people share their views or um, leave you a message, leave you a comment. So at the end of this training, I will be asking you to do a wee survey. And for that, I'm creating a QR code. Um, and I'm doing my survey in Forms. I really like using Forms. That's Microsoft Forms, but there's Google equivalent. There's a Survey Monkey. There's lots of different places that you can do this. Um, but it's not just, as I said in the wee descriptor there, it's not just about maybe feedback surveys for parents or for staff. Um, you can use this as a drop me a message, maybe a QR code on your door if you have a classroom or an office where lots of people um, visit. You can have it that they scan it they type in a wee message to you and as soon as you check your responses you can see what that message was so it saves a whole load of post-it notes being left and again saves paper so i've created this wee questionnaire and i am just going to click on share so i want to first of all change it to anyone can respond so i could copy that link there or I could go to the QR code here. It doesn't work brilliantly on an iPad, clicking the download, it doesn't always work. Um, so probably better just to copy this link. Ready for me to paste, so I'm gonna go into QR code monkey and let's just delete this long, long URL that I put in a wee while ago. Paste in one there. 
press return and that's me got my new QR code so I'm going to download that again as before I'm just going to wait for it to generate flip it over zoom out a wee bit and I'll screenshot and you will see that QR code in the feedback video or sorry in the slide at the very end for feedback And this is probably the one that I like the most, um, and I use it a lot. I talk about it a lot when we're doing moderation activities, so that when you're sharing that evidence of assessment, um, you don't. It doesn't just have to be a wee written piece of work. You can share anything, if you just make a QR code. Um, and as I say here, if you can make a link, you can make a QR, QR code. So, if you save it in OneDrive and you can share that link to it you can make a QR code and this video will show you how. So the last wee one is probably my favourite use for QR codes. It is if one of your children say has recorded a video that they really want um, people to see. So it's like maybe their views about a topic, pupil voice, them reading a story, um, or maybe it's a moderation activity where you're wanting to share an example of really successful learning but it's not a video that you're gonna put on the school YouTube or in a more public forum, even as an unlisted video, it's one that you actually want to keep secure. I'm gonna use OneDrive, um, my sharing folder. There are other options, obviously, you might be using Google Drive or Dropbox or something like that. Same sort of idea. I like OneDrive just because I find it really easy to use. So I've created a wee sharing folder within my OneDrive. So I'm gonna share this video. I'll click on the three dots. Again, this is on the iPad. It looks slightly different on computers in OneDrive, but there's always the sharing option. So the three dots on this, and I'm gonna click on share. Now, I want to change at the top. It says people you specify can edit. I'm gonna change that to anyone with the link. Again, because the QR code is the link. So the Q you need to remember that the QR code is the link. It is if you would send an email to someone and you put in that wee text link, the wee part that goes blue, the hyperlink as it's called, that is what the QR code is. Um, so anyone with the link can access it. And I'm going to go down to copy link. It creates a shareable link, automatically copied. Let's pop straight into our QR code monkey. Delete that. Paste in the link. and it generates a QR code. And that is it. All of these you can do through creating a QR code through QR Code Monkey or another provider. For general websites, as I said before, you can share, you can just create a QR code. It is so simple, so functional, and it's something that you can just print out once. It's there in your classroom for children to use always. So finally, the wee QR code you saw earlier your views. If you could scan this on the screen, let me know how you found the training. Have a really great Christmas when it comes, or if you're watching this after Christmas, hope it was a good one. Um, and I'm sure I'll see you at some point. Bye-bye.